And what's going on, y'all? This be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we are here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV-based. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Friday evening, and I intend on doing the same. What is going on, you guys? I am here live and in color from the ATL right about now. Y'all already know that I'm here, honey. Y'all already know that, right? And even though I'm here on my vacation, I'm here at Jamar's house, but I still got some work to do. Y'all still got me doing work. Y'all still do, but it's okay because I still got to get my coin. You know, I'm spending a lot of money for my birthday and I got to make sure I recoup all that coin that I'm spending. All right. But with that being said, before we get into anything, let's talk about what we got coming up on the horizon. Now, as you guys already know, today is Friday. And we're going into the weekend, but on, but on Monday, we'll be back. But the whether you like it or not, panel, all right? And we will be back right here on my platform on Monday night and not, no, 8.15 Central Time. So make sure you guys tune in. I cannot wait. It's going to be a good time as always. And then on Tuesday, depending on how the episode go, we will be going live again for Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. So make sure you guys get into that. And that's pretty much all that we got for the church announcements. So let's go ahead and get into the mess. Now, you know, the internet has been in a frenzy all day, ever since midnight when Megan Thee Stallion released her brand new single by the name of Hiss, honey. And she was taking shots at several different people. But the main thing that people have been talking about is some of the shots that were going at Miss Nicki Minaj. So let's go ahead and get into what the neighborhood talked and put out there. Now, one of the things is, you know, Megan dropped her single, His. And one of the lines that said, I can't never be judged by a bitch that was dancing, making R. Kelly go viral. And then the the thing said, woo, Megan. So everybody's trying to figure out who the hell was she talking about? Who was dancing on TikTok making R. Kelly go viral? That's what we all trying to. Then the next thing that the Neighborhood Talk posted was this particular line that got everybody going through a frenzy. Okay. Uh, she says, these hoes don't be mad at Megan. These hoes be mad at Megan's law. Now, that was the line that everybody has been going off about. And for those of you who may not know what the hell Megan's law is, Megan's law is the name of a federal law in the United States requiring law enforcement authorities to make information available to the public regarding registered SEX offenders. Laws were created in response to the murder of Megan Kanika. I think I said her name wrong, but it is what it is. All right. So then let's look at some of the comments that's been going off about it now. It says she snapped. One thing they can't say is that my girl can't rap. You barbs are mad, but don't say ish when the drug addi- when the drug addict this is everybody. Someone else says, Oh my God, that was clever AF. Someone else said that we need a law against SpongeBob SquarePants booties. Okay. Someone else said, Does Megan ever actually address anyone though? Someone else says, Why not this Nikki directly instead of her husband? Someone else said, sounds better than every track on PF2. Meg did not come to play. And then, of course, somebody said that same old, I don't f- with horses since Christopher Reeves and all this other stuff. And then um, they was like, at this point, none of these rap girls are beefing with Nikki. They're beefing with Kenny because that's who all their disses be for, okay? And so um, somebody else responded to that particular comment and said, because Oink Nika stays directing ish to appropriate parties. The elf... She posted a whole MJ pic directed towards Cardi not too long ago, but y'all have selective memory and play dumb, okay? And to be honest, I agree with that. Then someone else said, that's a diss within itself. Imagine being one of the most successful rappers, yet you're married to a rapist. Wow. And I agree with that too. So not too long after the diss came out, Nikki responded with a meme on Twitter and everybody knew that that's what she was referring to. She was referring to the song. So let's look at the, you know, the the meme. That- so not too long after that was posted, Akbar came out with something that she wanted to say in regards to Megan's um, song, His. She said, girl, you could have kept that ish. And a lot of us that are looking at this on social media are saying to ourselves, Akbar is saying, girl, you should have kept that ish when we're all saying that, girl, you should have kept your fucking kids. But that's a whole nother topic. Then she comes back with another post. And um, Akbar V says, damn, you mean to tell me all the sh- she done said you come back with that week? Sh- 
Hashtag hip hop is doomed. I got a couple of questions. Number one, was you scared? Number two, who wrote it? Number three, who gassed you? And number four, who let you do it? The same person that got you ready to throw yourself in front of a running truck whenever Nicki Minaj gets into a beef with somebody. The same person that you know you're going up for but ain't giving you no deal. Um, She did put you on the record. She definitely did. But what else are you doing besides being her attack dog every time someone has beef with her girl go somewhere and sit your love and hip-hop career having ass down you're a bad mother and um it's bad that you have a bad career because you actually know how to rap but the only thing that you're going to be known for is being nikki's pit bull and not for your own music that nobody really knows so then not too long after that Nicki minaj went on ig live and apparently she was playing a disc record that was pre-recorded already she i don't know if she went straight to the booth or she already had this disc record ready in the vault and that she was ready for megan to respond because a lot of people have been feeling like you know nikki has been baiting Megan to come at her like she's been throwing shot after shot after shot after shot after shot after shot after shot so the people have been feeling like you know Megan you know has been baited this entire time and Nikki has been waiting but oh no when after the song came out and the buzz came out and everybody was talking about it Nikki was like oh no you're not gonna outdo me so then she went on Instagram live and she played this I might have to play it over if it's too um So in this particular song that she's playing, she was talking about her being Bigfoot. As we already know, she refers to Megan Thee Stallion as Bigfoot. And not only was she doing it, but she was also mimicking her Southern accent with the way that she raps. Now, we already know that Megan Thee Stallion is from Houston. And Houston rappers have this sort of cadence in their voice. And she said, do you want to be like Pimp C or do you want to be like Bun B? I don't know. Maybe because I'm from the South, I really did not appreciate her trying to mimic, you know, her Southern accent or whatever. Because, girl... Um, I'll, you got signed by Southern rappers. That's the reason why you're here is because of a Southern rapper. Don't you ever forget that. Okay. So y'all love coming for the South, but girl, that's a whole nother conversation, but we're going to go ahead and continue on. So after, um, she came out with that and posted that on her, well, she didn't post it. It was on her damn, you know, Instagram live. This is what Megan came out with. Megan came out and posted this on her story. 
right after um, Nikki um, went live and said all that she said and played all that she played. And then there was a series of tweets that Nicki Minaj actually liked, which we all know that she does this. She likes a lot of shady tweets, okay? So this is what she did. So this is one tweet that she liked. Um, it said, the gag is that she thought she got her lick back in only for Nicki to hit with the fatality in the first four bars in less than an hour. Um, someone else said, now get up on your good foot and skip, ho. Um, the other one was, imagine dropping the song and getting ate up on IG Live by a snippet. And um, she also liked, girl, you could have kept that ish. That's also what she liked. Um, on So then on Twitter, someone asked Nicki Minaj to post her feet, and that's what Nicki Minaj did. And then the Neighborhood Talk posted this, the feet that Nicki was talking about, okay? So after that IG Live and a series of like tweets and Megan being petty, posting a picture of herself laughing on her Instagram story, this morning, Megan Thee Stallion called in to the, to the Breakfast Club and she spoke on her brand new song, His and Who She Was Talking About. And this is what Megan had to say. Let's get into it, you guys. Basically, I understand what y'all doing and I want y'all to get up off me. No, actually, she said... Use something else. Do something different. Use another tactic. This one getting old. Actually, she said, fuck all, y'all. And, and uh, I think I think the people, we should play oh, the record. Fuck all you motherfuckers. Because niggas really like a, a, a noun. That's for men or women. <laughs> True. And, and bitches. And bitches, too. I get it. It's, it's gender neutral. <laughs> gender neutral. Now, I haven't heard the record yet. Are you saying names? Um, I'm saying a hit dog on holler. That's it. God damn. So it's multiple people. Yeah, whoever feel it, feel it. Okay. Did Lindsay Lohan's daddy get a shot? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Why the hell do Lindsay Lohan's daddy want to smoke with me? God dang. Lindsay don't even like her own daddy. So, like, I ain't, you know, if he if he get astray, he get astray. Damn, damn. Well, I want you, after you drop this record, I need you to walk away from your phone, Megan, okay? Because you know these motherfuckers be on you for no reason. That's so. Right. Just be prepared for all the smoke and all the comments, but just walk away. Because oh, they're going to act like it's unprovoked. Yes. You know, I'm going to take a little nap and I'm going to wake back up and I'm going to see what they have to say. Just don't get on Instagram live, Megan. Let the record speak for itself. <laughs> block her live. <laughs> okay. Instagram, Please. if you're listening, I don't block even have social media on my phone, so it'll be okay. Good. 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 Well, let's, well, let's get into the record right now. And you're going to be seeing it soon. I know, I know you were just calling to, to, to send us the record. And hopefully we'll, you'll come up here and we'll talk to you soon, correct? Oh, oh, absolutely, positively. <laughs> oh, we we gonna lay it out for you when you come. Just tell us what you need. You, we, we have we have drinks for you. That's everything. Right. We gonna we gonna we, we gonna have flowers. We gonna, gonna have a nice balloons. kickback. <laughs> we gonna make it a nice conversation. Yeah, we gonna have a nice kickback when you come. Oh, thank you so much. All right, man. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get into the record right now. It's called Hiss. It's Megan Thee Stallion, and we appreciate you checking in this morning. Thank y'all. Now, after Megan Thee Stallion called into the Breakfast Club, Young Baby Tate came out and she said, I love Megan Thee Stallion, LOL, LOL, oh my God. Someone else said, girl, you so weird. Someone else said, how is she weird? Your fave has been dissing Meg unprovoked for three years. Three years is crazy. And is she, Megan, no Tate mad over Nikki, not giving her no attention? Someone else said, well, I am Baby Tate said, LOL. She addressed about seven people in the song, one of whom myself also have publicly bitch. But you think I'm saying I love Megan because you think I'm mad about something unrelated? Literally trying to start something. I ain't even press play. For what? Get a life, okay? I'm laughing about conjugal visits and y'all talking about features, LOL. Like, give it up. So then Akbar comes back around and she says, Meg, you need to already be in the studio like last night. Nikki about to clear you. This is hip hop. Get back up, Meg, and try it again. The first one ain't stick. You got to get up and try it like Aaliyah said in that song. People say I'm laughing like I ain't get. Okay, let's talk about that bully that's still in my head. But I know when I go up against bitches with rap, they're going to use any and everything. So it don't hurt me because I can. I know when you rap beef, you got to really come. So after Dead BV came out with another post, uh, Nicki Minaj ultimately responded on Twitter once again. And Nicki said, hashtag gag city does not condone bullying. This is a long ass tweet, so I don't care if you ain't reading all that. Below is the kind of tweet that they hate. Pink Friday 2, platinum. Super freaky grandma, triple platinum. Red ruby the sleeves, platinum. F the club, but platinum. I mean gold last i saw you 
gold, okay? If your last five to 10 releases flop, if the internet checks don't clear outside in real life, if all the paid blogs and paid tweets equal flop after flop after flop album, did y'all run up that Barbie World song they tried? It's bubbling under this week, video and all, and didn't crack the Hot 100. It's a bub. They losing so much money with BF. Ain't generate now one penny of a profit and claim she went to college but can't read her contract. Another manipulation so she can kick people to the curb after they helped her. Did y'all run up her color purple song? No. Huge VMA's performance. Big video equals a flop. Every album she's ever released, flop. Pay media all the time and fraudulent awards equals flop. Horrible actor that can't cry on cue. Don't try to act bookie. It's a chop. Pathological and manipulative liar using ghost writers and still suck. So it's not me, y'all. I would never. I'm a classy rich lady. So it's not me, y'all. Oh, I already said that. Immigrant to a boss, the American dream. It's well, it's just that. Whispers, y'all. It's just that Roman seems to be in one of those moods now. And I ain't reading all that because I can't pronounce it. P.S. Barbie voice. The Pink Friday 2 fragrance continues to sell out and the Pink Friday nails are coming real soon. No more updates for GC residents, though. I love you. Barb's post y'all streaming receipts and that is it. And honey, that is all until further notice. OK, so then she got my top five of PF2 today, all that. And then she says, what's yours for the rest of the day and night? Keep Roman and Pink Friday 2 in your tweets. I watched what Roman did last night and I can't lie. That John was funny AF. So on in the, so looking at the comments, Megan, you won. You got this woman going. She probably, she probably ain't even been to sleep since Megan Law. She really is miserable sitting over there with her husband, probably because he can't pick his son up from school and she always has to. Can you imagine? Beyonce bragging that she's rich. She's acting like Megan not rich too. Yes, Nikki sold more records than she should. She's been around around 14 years and have a bigger fan base. I just want to know why she act tough behind the keyboard. And when Cardi approached her, she ran behind security. Oh, scary tale. Okay. Someone says, get in the booth. She's been saying Roman arrived in Malibu Gag City for about weeks now. Did he drown or something? Because Tina wants to play. But Nikki, you still ain't at nobody. Seems scared to me. All this because Nikki fell in love with party. Nikki, of all people, should know the heart wants what the heart wants. I'm a barb, and, but I'm a barb with a scent, with sense. This is immature, and y'all not taking, taking, telling her that this is not going to do anything but help Meg in the end. When you the queen, for real, for real, this is not needed, okay? So that's pretty much all that I'm going to read in regards to all of that. And I'm going to say this. First of all, I enjoy Megan's new record, Hiss. I really did. I enjoyed that. You know, it's a typical Aquarian type of record. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's letting you know, like, I've been letting you make it. I've been letting you slide. I've been letting you drag me. And now it's time for me to come out and play. Okay, it is time for me to come out and play, bitch. Okay, period. So that's what it's giving for me. Like, that's what it's giving. I enjoyed it. I'm glad she went back at Nikki. I'm glad she took a swipe at Drake. I'm glad that she did all of that. Because Nikki has been coming at Megan for quite some time now. And the barbs. And I know they're going to be watching because there are some people that you know, are subscribed to me, but don't say nothing in my comments until I talk about Nikki. So I know y'all going to be there. But anyway, she's been coming at Megan for a while now in multiple records for the last year now. And everybody been saying, oh, Megan is scared to come back at Nikki. Ne Megan is scared. Megan is scared. Megan is scared. Megan is scared. But now that Megan has said something, now y'all act like y'all can't take it. Now that Megan has opened her mouth and said what she had to say, y'all act like y'all can't take it now. Now y'all want to be mad. And then want to say, well, why is she always, why are these females always coming at Kenny? Didn't, when Nikki did her diss to Megan in one of her records, didn't she bring up the Tory Lane situation? Stay in your Tory Lanez, bitch. I'm not Iggy. All this shit. Didn't she, didn't she say all that in her record? Didn't she tell her to drop a tear? Didn't she talk about, you know, I don't put horses since Christopher Reeves and, you know, making making light of what happened between her and, um you know, Tory Lanez in this whole case? So, yes, they're going to go at your 
sex offender ass husband. They are, period. You want to go there? You want to take shots? They're going to do it to you. And it is what it is. Y'all wanted the beef. Y'all wanted the drama. And now that y'all got the drama, y'all can't handle it. I'm just saying. Y'all can't handle it now. Y'all got what y'all wanted. So now, it's on. And this is a rap beef that, you know, and I enjoy diss records. I'm not going to sit up here and act like I don't. I do enjoy diss records. Like, I don't like Kaya, but Kaya ate Trina and Jackie O up on the Hit em Up diss. You know what I mean? Like, my one of my favorite diss records is No Vaseline by um, Ice Cube. Like, I like those type of records. And being that Nikki is actually going at a person that's actually talented and really knows how to rap, this is going to be interesting. This is not like no Cardi B shit. This is very interesting this is different this is somebody that's on her level when it comes down to rapping right right she won't competition and she got it now let's not act like this let's not do the revisionist history stuff nikki has been going at megan for a while megan ain't said nothing megan has come out and said what she had to say and here's the thing i always feel like it's and maybe because i'm a humble person at heart I don't feel the need to brag about what I've done and the success that I have. Whenever I see people doing all that bragging, I feel like, well, who are you trying to convince? Me or yourself? Because you ain't convincing me of a damn thing. Because me, I personally don't really give a shit about what you got going on or what you ever did. So, I mean, what gives? You know what I mean? Like, when, when I see people do that, I just think that that's trash and it's clownish type of shit to me. Like, if you really got it going on, you ain't got to brag about it. This woman always got to post every single accomplishment that she's ever done. I don't do that. I don't have to remind you about the awards that I want. I don't have to remind you that I got over 50, 50K subscribers. I don't have to remind you of all the, 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 the interviews and podcasts I've been a part of. I don't have to do that because it's, it's my work speaks for itself. And the thing about Nikki is she doesn't let her work speak for, herself, speak for herself. She's a talented artist. She is. She got it going on. But the thing about it is she just don't let things be what they are. Let the, like, let the record reflect that you are that... And just be that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with being that. But you ain't got to constantly shout it out to the world all the time. And that's that's what really. I, but I don't like braggadocious people anyway. And I find that to be very obnoxious. But that's just me in my opinion though. Like I'm just one person. You ain't got to listen to me. I just find it very obnoxious. When I see people do that stupid ass shit. Like you, who do you ain't got to prove nothing to me or nobody else. But, you know, all in all, the Hiss record is very solid. It's been in the top five of the iTunes since the record came out. I know it was number one on the hip hop iTunes chart. And I think it went all the way to number two on um, the general iTunes chart. Now, I don't follow no streaming shit because I don't know how to follow that shit. Only y'all would know how to follow it. But the record is good and the video is even better. Okay, so Megan is coming with the visual. She's doing her thug thizzle with this independence that she got. All right. So that's all I got, but I want to know what y'all think. So let's talk about it down below. Now, let's pay some bills before I get up out of here. Now, Tramiel has a record out now called Long Days, and it's available everywhere. So make sure you guys purchase and stream it. Um, Bando has a song out right now called Bando's Dream, which is now available on Spotify, Apple Music, as well as the YouTube. All right. And then he also has another song out called DUI, which is also available now for purchase and streaming. So with that being said, you guys, that's pretty much all I got. I am Scotty by Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, share this video, and also click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. And if you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok will be down below. With that being said, you guys, your boys are out here. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Ciao.